What's going on guys and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Last time got a little spicy because obviously we was doing the parade heist where we we kind of kidnapped I forgot her name um, but we've just come out of here with Johnny and he wants a little bit of revenge on Smasher. So we're going to go and meet up with um, Rogue at the afterlife um where how do i get down from here is there any stairs eh, here we go so we're gonna head to the afterlife which is back way in the city so we do need to go for a drive precisely 3.6 kilometers of a drive and we're in pacifica right now aren't we yeah we're in pacifica isn't this the building we saw with um what was getting shot up? Or was it that building? Might have been this building. Anyway, hopefully on a good morning, afternoon, or evening. I am still doing the marathon, hence why you can still see chat below me. So, um, obviously, like I said, doing the marathon. Um, so, I'll probably be doing this for some time, because we still have 134 hours left on the clock. That timer does not seem to want to go down. It just keeps going up. So, let's pull my car in. And let's head over to the afterlife. Oh, I've got a phone call from Pete, Panam. Do you have a moment? Let's talk. Hey, mommy. I mean no longer moment. Can you come by the cabin? I have a problem. Um. On my way. Yeah, thanks. That's good to hear. Good Give to me hear. a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. Bloody Saul. Well, it looks like we might be taking a little bit of a diversion. Because the woman is calling, and we need to go to her aid. Otherwise, I don't want to be in the doghouse. All right. We are arriving at the camp. Let's see... What problems Panam is having now with Sol? So, peoples. For sure, we can pack, we can ride, but what then? I'll, the I'll do it. Dead. We've got no reason to Easy level. Let me You're play. the only one you can watch. Because Sol doesn't know when to quit. No, the rest will stay Still here in camp. Go. I want patrols every half hour. V, Rep you're here. Hold it. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. I saved do whatever you flip it out. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Wow. Seems a lot changed while I was away. No. Nothing has changed at all. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. Hmm. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. I totally forgot I did not turn the alerts off, so burn with me real quick. V? Sorry, mommy. Sorry, whole place. There we go. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. <laughs> I believe V is right. 
If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Remember a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do, yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. Now, you're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Why well, Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. <laughs> she knows I'm gonna help. <laughs> oh boy, what is this? Not fuel. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. America! Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice. It's all too easy, convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need, coming your way almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel, is that enough for you? Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know, but you guys. A few years back? Nobody would have given Corporal Work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Um... We'll meet there. Meet you there. Not a problem. Come on, let's go. Because one thing I've noticed, if we do ride with them, it's just awkward silence in the the whole drive I think there. I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. It's just awkward silence. You kind of just sat there just watching this whole bloody drive by go past. I'm here. <laughs> Hello, V. 
Hello. Are we ready? Yeah. Hello. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. Um. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Yeah, I think I put my car in the wrong place, didn't I? I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. The tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Yep, can't get in that way. Wait, why is my shotgun gone there now and not my knife? Wait a minute, have I changed my keybind? I've not changed. Oh, I've not changed my keybind, but I've unequipped my uh, knife apparently. Which one was I using? Was it this one? Yes. Oh, there's a gate around here I could have walked into. How did you weasel your way in there? Here I opened the damned door. Be right there. Yeah, I still need to invest in a finger light though. Because it does get dark in some places. And we're in a cyberpunk world, and nobody's got a bloody torch. I've been fond of trains, and the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. Just give me a finger torch, for God's sake. Free. Like you could set off in a thousand so journeys just... all at once. <laughs> Perhaps more simply, hopeful. I don't have, yeah, like cyber eyes, we don't have thingies. What's on here? Closing of the factory branch number 12 at the station. The factory in the branch office located at the station will be officially closed at the end of the month. All sections of the track used for the transport and logistics will be cut off from the main train system. On the final day of operation, all employees will be required to return any company equipment as well as their building access cards. Uh, this is Jim from the station control tower. I'm not sure if anyone will read this considering we're shutting, uh, shutting it all down, but what about the engine we got here? I get the tracks, but the engine, uh, someone should probably take care of it, right? Pretty sure it's an environmental hazard. The engine will be removed in accordance with all applicable safety guidelines. Rumor mill. Files. What is that? I swear to God, if this zoomed out is a big PP, pee -pee, it wouldn't surprise me if it is. Um. Panem. Okay, here we are. Wait, have you been climbing these stairs this whole time? What are we looking for? Punch cards. What cards? Oblong cards, holes in rows and columns. Oblong cards, as in punching cards, as in like. Would you help in. me look? Sure. sure thing. Nothing here. Nada. Nada. 
Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Okay, it must be here somewhere. Nothing here. Hmm. <laughs> well, well, well. Got it. Got something. Good job. Did you just look in this pile and that's it? Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, Which is this machine that I found, card. right? In the reader? <sighs> Here goes nothing. That could. Nice. V, I wanted to speak with you. Mm hmm. Missed you. Pretty bad. Ooh. Oh, well, <laughs> this means. Oh, wait, just, just wait. <laughs> this is not how we usually talk. <laughs> Not what you wanted to talk about? <laughs> I mean, perhaps I did, but not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Good what morning, Butcher. Wrong? It seems you saw right through me. Didn't have a clue how you'd react. You're not the only one shooting in the dark. I would not want to cock this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know, but I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Don't feel any impulse at all right now? Shame. I was hoping you did. I do. But I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. <laughs> Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Spicy. Spicy. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Love this character. What? Panem? Or. Or what? She definitely adds a dynamic to the game. For sure. Uh, v, do you know where Panem is? Uh, no idea. She's never in the camp when you need her. When you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, because like Panam and the Nomads, they're not like the normal kind of side quests. They kind of keep popping up. And then the dialogue between you two is... Oh, I don't know why I pulled out my knife. Did not want to do that. Oh, yeah. Hey, right, what's we going on here? Sit your ass down a minute, honey. 
free. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. I guess it's time for a beer. Can I get a thumbnail whilst I'm here? Maybe? You worried about Saul? You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. I like how my car is just right there behind him as well. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake See you Nation. later, Phil. It would make us stronger, he said. Good to see you, though. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Really, that whole thing just repeat. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. the war much what's there to say they just packed you into a panzer down in mexico and said full speed ahead soldier and it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard ai drinking iodide like water because your geiger wouldn't shut up mm -hmm. i'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin uh-huh but you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk huh that's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Grown kind of cold out here. <laughs> Smooth. Smooth. Not true. But this is nice. Yo, you catch some shut eye with me. <laughs> That's gonna be a no. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Oh dear, that means there's a major leak. Oh god. Wow. Oh my god, that was brilliant. That was funny. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? What what the Let's ride, V. Let's go. What got me about that was that, that little bit of awkward silence. It wasn't not intended. It was just the game trying to load the next dialogue kind of thing. But there was a bit of awkward silence after she said it. And it was like, okay. <laughs> Wait, no coffee? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. We gotta do what we gotta do. Get her up to speed. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. 
Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. V, no coming in hot. Take out that couple. Yes. What am I doing? We're getting close. Nickel stop. V, shoot up the damn coupler. Surround them as soon as they're cut off. Whoa! Move that ass, Teddy boy. Go, go, go! Four. No. Firing at close range. No, it's blocked! We need a new route! Back down! Keep it! Hit confirmed! Hurry up! I'm on it! Go to the right! Out of ammo! Oh. Oh. Reload it! Holy! We got it! Approaching start! Come on! Keep firing, Dustin! Accelerated like a mother trucker. Jesus. I was grabbing loot. Please hold next time. Wait for the track to be cleared, you bloody plant pot. What's that, I mean? Oh, this side. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. Move. I don't know if they're broke down or dogging. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting with Mitch and Teddy. I'll tell you what, I hope nothing happens to Badem. Like, she's already been shot once. Okay, we just lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh God, yeah, I've got it. I'll take care of this myself. Time to talk to Saul. He's gonna flip his lid. Yep, here he comes. So it begins. 
I say we just kill Saul and let Panam take over this goddamn camp. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am, you can see them from miles away. You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but... Then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Damn. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. <laughs> Seems to still be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Noise. Whilst we're here, maybe we should have a look right. into some cyberware. Maybe. Uh, no. Whilst we're here. Actually, how much have I got on me right now? 42,000. I do want to get a new car, though. I do want to get a new car. Oh, cause that shotgun. And that's just a big ass pink revolver. Um. Yeah, maybe I should go and sell what we have. I do have a new hat, apparently. Oh, what? <laughs> what is my outfit? Like, really, what is it? Whoa. Johnny's tank top in a toy store. Without the dog tag, this was like in any other fanboy shirt. <laughs> Can I get rid of this hat, please? This is terrible. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> oh, damn it. Jesus. If I take off the coat, what does it look like? Okay. I literally look like a nomad. Literally look like a nomad. Should I go with the Arisaka body armor and just go? You know what? Why not? Why not? Let's go with that. Maybe I should go to a clothes store and just see what they have. If it's expensive, though, like... We're not doing it, because... Where's my car? It's all the way over here. Hello? Oh, now it's behind... <laughs> Finally uh, playing some... It's not Starfield, Snut. Shh. It's not Starfield. <laughs> um. Right. So, journal. So, we got Queen of the Highway. Leave the camp and wait a day until the basilisk... Wait, hold on a minute. Leave the camp and wait a day until the basilisk is ready. 
once you finally hit the big, always turns out you have, uh, you're fucked elsewhere. Nice cities go to Rome. Panel get our uh, basilisk right, but so sure to toss her out before she. Oh, okay. So maybe we we do have to wait. So maybe we go back into the city, sell some stuff, or even just go to the 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 hotel thing, sell some stuff there. Maybe have a look at the vehicle, how much it's going to cost, or if we've unlocked it yet, and then come back here. I think that may might be a plan. So let's actually track that mission. And then we'll come back here once it's done. We're gonna come back a day later. Evening. Literally out the back of a van. Yeah. I'll, I'll do. I'll do it. Actually, no, because we don't. We don't sell here, do we? We sell at the um, little vendor. Oh, Rivers calling. River. Hello. Hey. I need your help. Okay. NCPD asking a freelancer for help. Things gone that far to shit? I shouldn't talk about this on the hollow. We gotta meet. When and where? Tell me. Glenn, tonight. I'll flick you the details. Will you make it? Do my best. Tonight? Thanks, V. What do you mean tonight? I've, I've got other priorities. I've already got things to do. I've already got plans. Uh, meet me in the evening. Okay. Let's sell some things that we don't need. A shotgun. Double barrel shotgun. I'm using that pistol, aren't I? Pistol. Shotgun, shotgun, revolver, double barrel shotgun. Let's get rid of this submachine gun. I'm not using it. And then we have the one-handed club. Katana can be gone. I should really go and store these hammers at my base, right? Do these weigh stuff as well? 0 0.2. They don't weigh that much. Yeah, they don't weigh that much. But I guess if I'm not going to use them, oh, I could just store them, right? At my house. Uh, let's just sell all junk as well. Uh, 90 for weight. And let's check how much the car is going to be. We just got 14,000 from that. So we're currently sitting on 57k. How much? Or if we have, no. have we unlocked the Why, car I'm after? Friend now or something? Which is the, is it Thornton? On occasion. I keep getting well, the name of it. You really are special. No, um, it's no Quadra. It's the Quadra. So we've unlocked this. That actually looks pretty beasty, to be honest. Type 66. But the one I'm after is the Type 66 Avenger. And we need more street creds. It doesn't tell you how much street creds, but I want this. This looks like a beast. And that's 52,000 there. Do I buy that one? So I might be able to buy because this might be something late game that I might need to get like late late on. So I could just buy this. That looks monstrous. Have I done the Della main mission? I don't know. I don't know. I've just been going. I've just been flying through missions. It's pretty monstrous. Let's just save. Let's just save. Um, we've done that. Got that. Let's go to the clothing store and see. It's just across the street, isn't it? Just the yeah, it's literally just across the street over there. Let's head over there and see what they have in stock. Technically, oh, he wants me to meet him in the evening, doesn't he? Does um, what's he called? River. Hola. Synthetic meat, you're in for a treat. I'm looking for some decent outerwear. You're in luck. Our prices are out of this world. Get it? No. Okay. Whatever you say. Is there a way? There is. So you can preview the item on them. Good to know. What on earth? There's definitely a few. I'm guessing other vendors have different styles of claws as well. This feels impractical if I'm using the mantis blades and I've got long sleeves. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Go with a gas mask. Go full pilot. I'm just wondering if um, the clothing store is going to be different. We could check it. Whilst we've got the time now, let's go and check if another clothing store will have different clothes. Where is the next one? Over here. All right. So, stylishly.
What clause is going to be available here? Hello? Yes? What's going on? I need to change my style. I dare say we have something for everyone. Thanks. Okay, you have different clothing. You definitely have different styles. Oh, what is this? What is th what is that? <laughs> you got bunny ears. I can look like a tin foil. <laughs> oh boy, I kind of like this jacket. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna buy that. It's only 190. Got some cowboy boots. That kind of goes with my whole outfit, doesn't it? Really. I wonder if I go to like the corpore side of things as well, I can get some stuff, but I don't think I want to go too kind of casual, right? Na 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 na. Change you to you. There we go. Yeah, it's not so bad. A little bit shiny, but it'll work. Wait, what? You're just gonna leave? Yeah. That's what I do. You buy something, you leave. So, wait, is that a mission? Why is that a mission? It's like it's... Anyway, I think we now should just wait for the evening. And skip time. And then let's just wait 24 hours. 7.14am. And then drive back up to the camp. Where we should then be able to do the basilisk. Oh, Panam's calling. V, the basilisk. It's ready. Would you like to drive it? Um, Yes. Sure, be there soon. Fuck me, it is awesome. So I hear. All right, let's go. All right, so we're just arriving back at camp. And it's time for me to drive. What the hell's going on here? What's up, everybody? Why is everybody walking away? Sulking. I could check the cyber world before we do this, right? Maybe see if there's an upgrade. Does the cyber... Uh, yeah, let's check it. Why not? Come, come, come. Yeah. There's something you want. Let's have a look, because there is a lot of things that we could get. Wait, I already own that? Why is that ticked? I already own that. It just wasn't installed. Um, what do I want to go with? Slows time by 30% for 2.5 seconds when enemy detection reaches 50%. Stress, uh, successful takedowns grant 50% headshot damage for 15 seconds. Plus 7% movement speed for 5 seconds. Okay. Increases movement speed proportionally to the enemy's detection area outside the combat when entering combat. Crit chance increases the farther you are from the, uh, from the enemy. Uh, with blades and throwable weapons. Yes, please. Mitigation strength, three flexes change. Duh, 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 duh. Um, do I go with frontal cortex? Max ram, up loss speed for quick hacks. Don't need quick hacks. Cooldown for instantly cyberware. 25% damage against drones, robots, mechs, and turrets. Uh, automatically ne negates an enemy's quick hack. Improves Kerensikov Kare Kare by enhancing the user's speed and reflexes. Is active. 100% stamina cost from shooting. Slows time by 5% relative to your enemies. Reflexes are tuned. Aim speed, reload speed. Um, I feel like I should get this, but isn't that... What do I think about my RAM here? I think you here as well. Obviously, I've got the Mantis Blade. What are this? Toxic Monowire. Toxic Projectile Launch System. Damn. So many different things. Maybe I should get better eyeballs. Ultimately connects to your equipped tech weapon. When aiming, highlights enemies behind cover. Effective scanning. Highlights cameras and turrets within 25 meter range. Highlights explosive devices and traps. Highlights enemies the 12.5 range when scanning. See, this might be something better. Headshot damage multiplier. Minus 30% camera detection speed. I feel like that's... Yeah, I feel like that's the better way to go. Just to go with that. I could possibly upgrade these, but I don't think I have... Have the stuffs. Night vision. There is no night vision eyes, is there? I don't think there is night vision eyes, is there? Melee attack speed. Melee attack speeds cannot exceed two attacks per turn. Da, 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 which we have. Movement speed. I would like to get something in this. Functional as a health item. Instantly restore 60 health and regenerates 12 health per second for six seconds. We've got to remember that some other Ripper docs have 
better stuff. So I don't want to spend everything here. But this plus 16% stamina whenever you use a melee weapon to neutralize an enemy, which is something we kind of be doing. Plus it gives me better melee damage. Maybe I get this. Let's get that. Okay, One. cool. I spent some money. Which I didn't expect to spend, to be honest. But I think having that just to help me out in combat and some stuff and will benefit us. So let's go and see what Panam is after. Just a little more time. Yeah, For this mission. yeah, you turn it into a goddamn rocket ship. I All ready to go? Hey, V. Look at this. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think tanked. we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like it just came back from a Corpo War tour. Nice touch. <laughs> Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. And Saul, what about him? Nothing, for now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. I always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Come on, hop in. Everything is set. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, here we go. Why are you climbing in in slow motion? All right, let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. She's pressing every button. Damn it. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything ought to- Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. Okay, there we go. She's kind of cool. It's not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. We're literally like Bonnie and Clyde, aren't we? What do you think? I feel like it shouldn't be this quiet right now. And that we should hear thrusters or something... So, what do you think? You know? Impressive, huh? Nice and cozy in here. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No, why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? <laughs> no. Then I trust you. <laughs> Can I still get out? If it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. I've, I definitely feel like there's some audio glitches going on right now. Okay. This, this is if way you too quiet. Functionality in an engagement. Can I save here? I can't even save. You need a second person to handle sensory overload. <laughs> One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. Okay, it's there's the crashing. It's pleasant. You'll see. I can just hear the squelching of the trees. Okay, this will do fine. A dry oh. run first. I'll disconnect for now. I hear sounds now. Doesn't need two pilots. You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Now we've got sound. That's better. Time to jack Damn. in. Is this uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. 
It'll be over soon. There. See? Whoa. Okay. Starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. Soft ride. Seems a boat. She'll fly right over any bumps. All types of terrain. Head towards that wreck. All right. I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. Way to do it. That's just weird. Why would you say it when I'm already turning that way? Right. Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. Good. Better than dirt now. Bullseye! Okay, Ooh. practice is over. B, do you remember what I said about impulses? Mm hmm. Well, wash out now. What's happening? Hijacked in. Our nervous systems are now linked. Right. Basilisk pilots working in harmony. That why I'm feeling everything doubled? It's sensory feedback. Our systems are intertwined. Would you like to try it out? Wait, what? Wait a minute. I could go for that. Oh, fuck. Oh, hello. They found us. We have to get to camp. They're rapid. Whole group of them ready for a fight. They're here too, Saul. In full force. Take them out. Do you mind? Here. Make yourself useful. I was extremely busy and I'm, I'm pissed off. Easy. It's time to talk. Uh oh. Saul wants to talk. <laughs> that voice acts in stuff, yeah. As I all, all added. Please just say so. 
Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family. Not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes. And to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Wait, what? Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? What the hell was that about? He's up to something. An interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. Mm-hmm. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. Hey, come on. Shit! Did no, you I'm see serious. The connection? Why am I we getting this you. screen thing again? You can count on uh, the does. No squirming. Always. Okay, no, I we're fine. To Good to know. They won't dare show their faces again. How many did we drop? Our lord. That's what Nobody's I behind the bar. They could have been that I like. That basilisk could come around sooner. Pan Am missing from camp at such a critical mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. I have to to what is Beer? She Lemonade? I see it. Beer me. Leave her alone. To happy endings. Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though. Who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pan Am, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. Mm. It's really not that simple. You either want to or not. What's so complicated? That's the problem. What I want right now doesn't mean a thing. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. I'll think it all over. I pro. Uh oh. Me? How is this my problem? Stop. Pan Am. I. V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? What happened? I remember. I. We were talking. Then. Suddenly... You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. You ain't dying yet. Oh, Jory, you're as well. Mm -hmm. Of course you are. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse every single day. Okay, B, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening exactly? You know, Johnny Silverhand. Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? 
That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Pan Am, Silverhand's construct is busy wreaking havoc in my head. Impossible. It's not. It's simply impossible. Johnny Silverhand? Listen, did you try, you know, talking to someone about this? I tell my therapist a lot of things, but this isn't one of them. Construct's more like a cancer, growing every day. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. I'm feeling better, really. Holy Wait, fuck. I will go with you. I thought I heard that yeah. voice. I get it. Hey, Mitch. Hello. Finally, we were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Nice. Want me to walk with you? No. <laughs> and what? And what happened? <laughs> that guy was like, what? "No." I was just there a minute. In the background. Oh shit! Like he responded oh. for me. I know this area. You said the combats. Yeah. You really we said the combats here, though. For now, yes. Militech does not. Things got this a little far. spicy and in the. Uh, really are much better. In the basilisk. Hey, welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. A little? Mm-hmm. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. Kind of like the Nomad Clan. Oh, there's the basilisk. V. Back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks for everything. For being here for me. <laughs> Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well, just please keep in touch. All right. Street cred up. And I, I think that might be possibly the last mission with this clan. Maybe. Maybe. But that was fun. That was a lot of fun. That was a good little story arc.